guys, it's Tilly, and today I am here with a video that a lot of you probably won't like. So a few weeks slash months ago, I honestly have no concept of time anymore. I watched a video by Lily C. Reads and it was just all the books that she hated and it was single-handedly one of the greatest videos that I have ever seen on booktube. And although there were books on it that I still enjoyed, I was totally happy to watch her rip into them about why she disliked them and basically it was amazing. And so I am pretty much stealing that video and I'm gonna show you guys a pile of books that I hate. Hate might be a strong word, a lot of these I just dislike or don't really care about at at all and so I'm just gonna go and show you guys what those books are I don't think I'm gonna go too in-depth about why I don't like them I don't even know what I'm gonna say I'm just gonna show you guys the books say something and move on to the next one because half of these books aren't even worth the time I don't mean to offend anyone these are just my opinions on these books and I respect whatever your thoughts on them are and I just hope that you guys can respect my opinions too even if I am gonna be a little bit harsh sometimes first up on the books that I hate it is A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Maas and the weird thing about this is that I absolutely love A Court of Mist and Fury it's probably my favorite Sarah J Maas book ever but A Court of Thorn and Roses I hated it so much the characters and just situations situations that happen in this book like I feel like the first half of this book to the second half of this book is just a complete different story and I just really disliked half the crap that went down during this book. <sighs> I know these next pile of books is disliked by a lot of people but my hate for this book actually originated when it no longer was a trilogy but turned into a series and that is the selection series so I read the first three books and it's kind of like you know a version of The Bachelor except that you can't visualize these hot people and then I, when I thought this was finally done after the horrible ending to that trilogy um, Kira Kass decided to continue on with uh, books about the children from the couple that gets together in this. And I honestly think it was the stupidest thing ever, especially because the characters in this talked about how stupid the selection was. And then they go and put their daughter through it, like, I don't know, 18 years later? It was honestly the stupidest thing. And the storyline was so boring, like, I haven't even finished it. I don't know, does the last book get better? I don't really care, I'm not going to be reading it anyway. I don't think that I have actually met a person who's enjoyed this next book yet, and that is Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. Becca Fitzpatrick wrote the Hush Hush series, and I just remember, like, that strange paranormal phase you go through before you discover the rest of YA genre, and you just kind of fell in love with them, even though you look back at it and it's so problematic. This book was just so damn horrible. I hated everything about it. Absolutely hated it. I don't think I even finished it or either way I flicked through to the very end and checked what happened and honestly it was just no. And I know for a fact that so many of you guys enjoy this next book um, and that one is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare and I've had a conversation with one of my friends about these books and she always said to me that Cassandra Clare, the first book in her series, is kind of average and then the series picks up and I'm really hoping that is the case because Lady Midnight is my most hated book of all of her books ever. I feel like someone accidentally put this book into the recycling bin instead of the trash can where it deserves to go. I love the Mortal Instrument world but just give me books on the same characters. I'm so sick of reading the same people rewritten just with a different name or a different gender. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray and this cover is like amazing. I love the covers of all the books of this series or trilogy or whatever it is. But the storyline, um, I, yeah, I just don't care about it at all. I think there was like one scene in this book that I liked and that was about it. The rest of it I just uh, didn't care about. Even now I'm struggling to remember. So. There was like a huge John Green phase and I, like many of the other readers out there, jumped on board and read all of his books and I don't know what it was but like for a little while nobody ever talked shit about John Green until like some blogger probably did it and now everyone's just like we don't really like him that much. And although I do enjoy a few of his books, uh, mostly Looking for Alaska, which I really enjoyed, there are three of his books that I disliked, hated and just didn't even consider as memorable and that is Will Grayson, Will Grayson, Paper Towns and An Abundance of Catherines. Which one did I hate the most? An Abundance of Catherines. I just want to burn that book and throw it into a trash can. This next one I read when I was on holiday and maybe like I just don't like 
the trilogy because I read them like so far apart I didn't get to marathon read them and I think I waited like over a year to read them as they came out and I just couldn't remember what happened in the last book like I don't even remember what happens in this first book but I do get the distinctive feeling that I do dislike them and that is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodgkin. From what I can remember I dislike the characters, I dislike the storyline and I dislike the writing. Maybe I should give them another chance but I highly doubt that I will. Talon by Julie Kakagawa and I freaking love dragons so I was so excited for this book and maybe it was the fact that I overhyped it that I actually really hated it because instead of this epic book about amazing and skilled dragons I was given this and I did not like it at all the characters I couldn't even relate to. I didn't like any of them. They were horrible and the plotline in it was so freaking slow and boring and I feel so bad because I wanted to like another dragon book. There isn't enough out there. This next one is by a really big author and though her other series are kind of okay, she tends to be really good at writing characters that you love. Like Rose Hathaway and Adrian Iveshkoff and Sydney Sage and then she wrote her new book which is Soundless and it was terrible. I felt like this book was the most bland thing that I have read in a very long time. It kind of felt like when you're reading it that you're waiting for like the peak of the story and you just never get there and then the ending is just does not make sense. I don't know if it was just me or not but it seemed like nothing happened and then the last chapter is just so much action that you can't even believe it. Like it doesn't make sense. And for me I really dislike this book. No, I hated this book. Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland and this book I did not like for the most of it but the ending did redeem itself. What I didn't like about this book though was mainly the characters that were very stupid and that I didn't like and I just hated it. I can say though that I did like her writing style so hopefully she writes something very different to this book and I will hopefully enjoy that. Teardrop by Lauren Kate and I think that when I first started to read this book I actually fell into like a deep slumber and I slept better than I have in a very long time. I think after reading this that I now have to give up on Lauren Kate. She wrote the Fallen series and that series, now that I look back to it, is horrible. But it also was like the opening door into YA for me, which I don't like to admit very often. But this book was just nah. Nah. So there we have it and once again I don't mean to offend anyone and if I did then uh, dislike the video I guess. Hey why don't you guys tell me what books you guys disliked and um, if you guys feel very offended by what I have said go ahead and put a book that I like down there and just totally rip into it and I'll just cry myself to sleep but I will still like the comment. Thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon and until then have a lovely bookish day and hopefully great things happen to you. Start of the year me, that would have been easy, but for currently me, uh, that is like three more books than what I have normally read these last few months.